Closets by Design recognizes remarkable women of the Low Country. Seldom do you think of a doctor as commanding an army, but the staff at Roper Hospital says when the enemy is COVID-19, it's a war. They see life-changing and life-ending situations all around them. News News' Carolyn Murray introduces us to a physician who's leading the troops. She uses skill and passion to protect and serve her patients every day. Okay, Suited up and ready for battle. For example, like this. Scrubs, mask, walking through halls of the hospital, creating plans to care for a new population of patients. Dr. Romina Illick is an anesthesiologist. It's nice to be able to take care of patients and see them safe through, through surgery. She is director of the cardiovascular intensive care unit at Roper Hospital. Typically in the ICUs where the sickest patients in the hospital end up, and so those are the folks that we focus on. Focusing on those needing the most care while managing to reduce IV and catheter-related infections. Oftentimes, um, they come in and you're not necessarily sure why they're sick. You just know that they're really sick, and so you may have a very limited amount of time to figure it out before they get worse. Calling the shots during a pandemic has forced a new level of leadership because the enemy, COVID-19, is unpredictable and unforgiving. Early on, it was just a lack of information initially and trying to learn as you go um, and take care of patients with a brand new disease that we didn't really know that much about. It's really heartbreaking to not be able to help somebody when they're asking for help. One year into the pandemic, and there are treatments and vaccines. It's very rewarding when you can help somebody out through what could be the toughest moments in their life. But COVID-19 is a war, and every day she and other healthcare workers are battling against this deadly disease and its effects. Logistically, just finding space for patients as the hospitals are at capacity, and so getting phone calls from other facilities and asking for transfers for patients who are really sick and who need to um, get to a higher level of care and not having space for them um, is tough. Her colleagues call her tough. When patients go on a ventilator, Dr. Illick peers down their throats, knowing the procedure puts her at high risk of exposure to COVID-19. Most folks know going on the ventilator means that not only are you very ill, but your mortality increases when you require mechanical ventilation. And that may be a marker just because you are that sick and you need that extra care. Challenge and change are nothing new for Dr. Illick. She came to the United States with her mother from Croatia. I think I was probably seven or eight years old. Learning and mastering a second language and culture. The clash of the two cultures, so kind of being a little kid and going to school and having to learn a brand new language and a new way of life and a new culture. When the words healthcare workers on the front lines are said, there is one who stands shoulder to shoulder with her staff, but for the many lives she saved or improved, she stands out. I love my job, and I'm really, really lucky that I can do it, and I can do it with such amazing people at my side. My family always knew that I was going to be a doctor. It just took me a while to believe them. A whole litany of things I thought I was going to be, but definitely not a physician for a very long time. You might imagine that Dr. Illich's schedule would not allow much downtime, but this mother carves out time to be a triathlete who enjoys surfing and running and the occasional sweet treat. I can eat a pretty impressive amount of M&Ms in one sitting. Dr. Romina Illick, a mother, doctor, athlete, and truly a remarkable woman.